laughed because I didn't want anyone else to know that they were really talking about me. We are here to educate to students about inappropriate behavior with adults. Uh, Frank Moran from the North Township Trustees Office has put together an amazing panel with the Department of Justice, Fairhaven Center for Women, as well as Mental Health America, Regional uh, Mental Health, and the Department of Children's Services. Um, we have been in schools all week from the middle school to the high school, and the purpose to, is to make sure that students know that they don't have to keep secrets that are hurting them. And I just wanted to add that uh, the reason why we're here is people like Isha who are survivors who have the courage to come forward and their number one voice about the existence of si child sexual molestation and uh, the importance of re kids realizing how the internet, there are bad people on the internet, but Isha has had the courage to tell her story and the, what drives her and what drives this whole program is to give a voice to victims so that one, they are taken out of the current situation that they are in and the suffering can stop. Two, that they could get the support and help that they need from the therapist from Fairhaven, uh, Child Protective Services, and whatever resource they need to stop the pain. And so we're in all the schools throughout the township and throughout basically the state of Indiana to be able to say that education and telling kids about predators and how they groom kids and how they try and break borders and how they offer them things that incentivize them so that they could get to the children and letting the children know that they can say no to that. Letting kids know that if someone online asks them to meet them in an isolated area, they never go. And also letting kids know that sexting and pictures being sent from one to the other is a bad idea and a crime. So what stops a predator, what I've learned, is education. And so we're educating these kids and taking it to the next level. And the test of our success is that we've had over 20 children come forward and talk to the counselors and they have talked to Child Protective Services. And our goal is to make sure that they are no longer being harmed and that they can begin to heal.